kids do when a teammate cuts them down or says something negative behind their back. I know, especially with girls, that's that's really hurtful. Yes, and it can be really hard. And this goes back to my fifth practice about cut your losses. And a lot of times what I notice is some people get cut down by teammates and get cut down by a lot of people and then stay around those people. And it surprises me that they stay around people being negative towards them. If you have the opportunity to leave those people, you have to. And I tell my teenagers this all the time. Sometimes in life, you have to learn to love people at a distance. If they're not being positive, you have to remove yourself from that situation. And when people are being negative towards you, don't let it bother you. And it's easier said than done because I've had things like this bother me too. But sometimes I have to take a step back and say, you know what, I'm not going to let this bother me. I'm going to keep moving forward, keep being positive, because where I, when I am where I want to be in life, I'm going to be smiling, I'm going to be happy, I've achieved my goal, and they're probably going to be in the same spot talking about someone else. So you really just have to have that positive mentality, know what you're working towards, know your goal, and say, you know, I'm not going to let that bother me because I know who I am and what I want to be, and I'm going to keep moving forward in a positive direction towards that. I think it's intimidating, too, when someone's very positive and directed. People somehow consciously or unconsciously yes. want to knock them down or, you know, the typical make yourself feel better by making someone else feel little. Yes, and I think that that is a really common thing, and it's something that I speak to my elementary school kids and my middle school kids about all the time when I go into school. We have a session on bullying, and I tell them, you know, just because you call someone dumb, it does not make them smarter. When you call someone fat, it doesn't make you any skinnier. You know, when you say someone's ugly, it doesn't make you any prettier. And I see a lot of the kids step back and say, you know, that's true. <laughs> just because you say something bad about someone, you try to make yourself feel better, but it doesn't change anything about you. And I, I tell that to kids all the time. Sometimes they just tell adults that because you can carry that mentality even into adulthood. And I say, be positive towards other people because that positivity does come back to you. You may not think so, but it does. When you put out positive energy, that positive energy comes back to you. You'll see more favor on your life. You'll, you'll see more success come to you because you give and then you receive. Right, and you, you, you look, you sound dumb when you say things like that. You're <laughs> ugly when you do ugly remarks. So it, it's, it's everything that you don't want to be when you're, when you're acting that way. Yeah. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.